Today on Joy's Garage, I'm going to be talking about tuning a carburetor for cold weather. So if you have an ATV, scooter, or any type of carbureted engine that's running a little bit funny now that the cold weather's come in, stay tuned to this video and I'll show you how to fix it. Welcome everyone, I'm Joey and this is my garage. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the carburetor from the engine. That way I can take it apart on the workbench and make it a lot easier on myself. So for this part, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. We're also going to need a jet tuning kit. It has jets anywhere from 100 to 125. So first we'll use a Phillips head screwdriver and we'll take off these four bolts. And then we're going to use the flat head to take out the actual jet. All right, now that we got the four screws off, we can open up the carburetor. Now we can see the jets. We got two of them. We got the main jet right here, and we got a slow jet set in right in there. What we're focusing on is the main jet right here. So that's what we're going to use the Phillips head screwdriver for. For this one, be very careful. It is brass, so it will chip, and it will get off really easily. go. So now what I need to do is go over a tuning kit and we're going to look for the 110 which I know is right here. So now we have the 110 jet. We'll just put that one right back on. And that's it. We'll close it back up and we'll switch it on over and we'll adjust the needle next. All right, now we have the jet change. We're gonna adjust the needle. That's gonna be on the other side. We'll just flip it on over and it's gonna be right under here. So same thing, we'll need the Phillips head screwdriver and we'll take this top part off. One tip I have for when you are removing the top of the carburetor is to maintain a little pressure on the top while removing the screws. This is because there is a spring underneath the top. Once the top of the carburetor and spring are removed, very carefully remove the plastic diaphragm. This will have the needle that you want to adjust. If you look inside the diaphragm, you should notice a retaining clip and a Phillips head screw. Remove that screw and the needle should slide right out. To adjust the needle, we need to remove the small retaining clip on the needle and move it down one notch. Once that is complete, I reassemble the carburetor in the reverse order of taking it apart.
Now that we adjusted the needle at the top of the carburetor, we'll be running a little bit richer from the zero to half throttle. We also changed out the main jet on the bottom of the carburetor and that will be from the half to wide open throttle. That way we'll compensate for the colder weather and it will run a little bit richer and equal out the air to fuel ratio. With that I want to thank everybody for watching. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up, comment on it and also subscribe to the channel. For those who have been watching I'd like to give away an 8 pole GY6 stator flywheel pickup and rectifier for those who share this video online on a social media website. If you do, the third person that does it, just email me at joeysthemechanic.com and I'll send it to you for free. Thank you for watching.